Uh, although it kind of seems like bedtime is getting stretched later and later because the sun is going down later and later. We're at our peak day length right now uh, for the next few weeks, so enjoy. Over the next few hours, things are going to be uh, rather oh hum Very consistent looking forecast. Temperatures back down into the upper 50s by the midnight hour. We will see some clouds coming through, but I know what you're saying. I don't see clouds. I just see gray. That is wildfire smoke. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. It does not show up on the visible satellite picture. <laughs> uh, but you can see that there have been some clouds that have been coming through Michigan. We'll have those passing through. But that wildfire smoke was for real earlier today. This bright orange area, that is a very dense area of that wildfire smoke that passed through. So we started off, you can see that red sun, and then it was like full on coverage of the smoke in the sky above that has since moved south, but we still have quite a bit of smoke and haze hanging around northern Ohio, and all of this is coming from wildfires in eastern portions of Quebec. So this is a pretty serious situation. We're not the only ones they are getting these uh, wildfire smoke uh, reports all throughout New England, too, but we will be kind of stuck in this pattern for the next several days, and the fires aren't going anywhere either. They still have extreme fire threats in eastern portions of Canada. So Ohio is down here on this map just to kind of orient you a little bit. This is from the Canadian Wildland Fire Information System and all these red dots. Those are active wildfires right now and the big red dots, the bigger of all of those, that is a thousand acres or more. And you can see just how prolific this is throughout central portions of Quebec uh, and then down, of course, into eastern portions of Ottawa, too. Our wind flow has been coming at us from the north northeast, and so it does not look like that's going to be changing. There's an area of low pressure that's stuck off the East Coast. That's uh, something I'll point out in just a moment. But you can kind of see how then all these winds at about 15,000 feet are just bringing any chance of that wild smoke, uh, wildfire smoke right over Ohio. This pattern is not moving, and that's kind of where the East Coast storm system comes into play. It clogging up the works. Uh, it is retrograding. It's coming back to the west and it's very established. It's not going to be moving and so that north wind will continue for us. Unfortunately, we won't be getting any of the rain from it and if we didn't have the wildfires north of us, we would be having just glorious perfect weather but unfortunately, that smoke is very much a real threat for us. We will start to see the kinks work out of this eventually. Let's, let me show you the next seven days here. Our east coast storm system locked in here over New England. England. We still have that north flow. This is the jet stream pattern even higher than what I just showed you. But you can see we generally keep the cool air locked in place, that storm system locked in place in New England all the way through Thursday. Meanwhile, heat is building like crazy out here in the Plains states. But by the time we get into the weekend, we'll start to see some changes. Friday, we're going to be watching another area of low pressure in northern Canada that's going to come down and really have an impact by the time we hit the end of the weekend. That impact could be our first chances of rain coming in some Boy, today is 16 days, so by the time we hit Sunday, I mean, keep adding. It's going to be quite a stretch here. We only have a 10% shot on Tuesday, and I think that's being very optimistic. Uh, but by the time we get to Sunday, that 40% chance, that's about the best chance that we have in the next seven days. In the next one day, in your National Design Hour hour by hour forecast, temperatures tomorrow will once again be held into the low 70s. That smoke haze will be hanging overhead. That does help to hold the temperatures down a little bit because the smoke actually reflects the incoming solar radiation. Uh, so our light northerly winds really not so much to blame for the cooler air, much more to blame on that smoke. We'll still have smoke hanging around on Wednesday. Remember that persistent pattern is that East Coast low is gumming up the works. But then things start to move and we'll finally get the temperatures moving again. We will get rid of the smoke very slowly through the day on Thursday. By Friday, I think we're back to some blue skies and just in time, we'll see our next storm system approaching from the north. Temperatures surge into the low 80s on Saturday. Our little tiny rain chance is there on Sunday. Come on Sunday, right? Mid 70s expected uh, and then we'll hold mid 70s on Monday too. It's just a small chance, but man, this is a heck of a dry stretch yeah. that we are in. Yeah. Last week, uh, for the first time in quite a long time, we actually fell back into abnormally dry conditions according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. That is not going to be better by the time this week's U.S. Drought Monitor comes out on Thursday. And at this point, even a slight chance of rain is good news. It's just not enough news. Mm, Got to take it. Right? Sunday. <laughs> We'll rain see. for rain. That's it. That's it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you.